to the wheel. goes again. Hold it. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note, a giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them, to guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. them to watch your mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. Whoa! What's Stay this? back! Matalo boy. Got it. Be careful. The floors must have caught these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Good for me, anyway. That is not helping. Thank <laughs> you. 
not be as long a way up as we thought. Too heavy. Summit. How far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Enemies ahead! Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. I 
think part of the lift is stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? Do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes, I'll be ready.
some tents. Hold. Whoa, what was that? That looks like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. Sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Oh, yes. I see. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. Go! 
Wow, we actually did it. And you! Ah, uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? <sighs> Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No, and uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any... Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That's it. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, how do I explain it? I've added the bow. Oh, I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... Feels like it wasn't that long ago you. we were hunting deer. No. Now we fought dark elves, trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. Want me to shatter it? Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strange them. I'm gonna completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once. It's glowing again.
The crystal renews itself. Useful.
gotta find a way to lower that bridge. That has to be the way out of here. stuck on the other side. Ah! I will never get tired of shattering things with this. This one's called Emu. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Come. Here, boy. Sir. Huh, interesting. I may want to write that down.
getting colder. We must be near the top. Not long now, Mom. Sealed by room magic.
We're so close now. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. It must be important that the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and... Piss off!
when no one's looking. We'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Oh, shut up, you idiots. Let's go. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. We took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. 
boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves, south of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemir back. He seemed nice, before you cut off his head. Stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why has this happened? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere. My kind. Now is not the time for that. break don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies leave him boy no fat well you already soiled my solitude so you may as well join me you're not hungry good it's not what i was offering saw your brother again congratulations and I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... do you mind? 
Trying to concentrate here. Already on a break from my break. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. Smart, you'll find him. to the witch. First we need to find a boat. Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. The World Serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. I wonder if the World Serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. Something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? That's some statue. Who built it, you think? I do not know.
powder dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. And now the door is gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? I bet this will lead out. Turn back to Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie.
Jeff's here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... Spell? 
Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the way. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Mamir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances. And not totally without reason. Enough. No stories. Not while well on foot. Our focus is the rope. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why you? travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants in their infinite wisdom saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. Forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Ah. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Ready yourself, boy! Nightmares! Ugh! What awful tank! Potential boy. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like Fafnir's storeroom, Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. become a dragon, Mimir. Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. It's been a 
greedy little dwarf come dragon. I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. Boy. Ugh! 